Welcome back to this day. Joining me now with Old Pros is Carol Glenn and also Gregory Anderson. So nice to see you guys. Gregory, you were here with me last time. And, and Carol, I'm usually normally seeing you on, on Wednesdays for Trading Post. Correct. So where, where's Mark today? Uh, Mark's <laughs> covering something over at Age Will. I believe that's, they're handing a yes. half million dollar check yes, to someone. That's a very big deal. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So. Um, last time, uh, Gregory, that you were here, we were talking about Improv Night. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, that's right. And yeah. a, another little production I was in. But yeah. Well, how did that night turn out? Was that fun? Turned out fantastic. Yeah. Really great. Huge turnout. Uh, we had over 150 people. Oh come wow! To that, show. that is a big yeah. turnout. It was a big show. Everything went to plan perfectly. It was wonderful. Now, did you get a lot of participation from the audience? Uh, not so much, but uh, certainly the people that did were very enthusiastic about it. Some people get a little shy around improv, but um, you know yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah, that's fun. Well, so um, this month's event, you guys have a very wild night with Oscar Wilde. And so tell me about Oscar Wilde for those who don't know his story. Okay, I guess you're throwing that to me. <laughs> well, I, I Oscar could... Wilde is an Irish playwright, but not just a playwright. He wrote poems. Believe it or not, he even wrote fairy tales. And then, of course, his most famous plays, the, the most famous play is The Importance of Being Earnest. And we will be having a couple of scenes from that, which is always a fun presentation. And here we have our, well, we haven't quite figured out what your name is. Are you hmm. Jack or are you Ernest? Well, I would like to think that I could be a bit of both. I could be Jack and Ernest, but for the purposes <laughs> of the play, I'm purporting to be earnest. Mm, okay. So anybody not familiar with the play The Importance of Being Earnest, it's all about uh, these two gentlemen that pretend to be a gentleman named Ernest because their loves, their love interests, will only date and be uh, courted by men named Ernest. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so I could never think of marrying anyone whose name was not Ernest. It is such a fine name. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny, and at the time, it was a very broad, farcical comedy that debuted in 1895. Yeah, this is crazy, and, and his plays became so popular during that time. Why do you think they became so popular at the time? I, and, and have stayed consistent, you know, stayed mm -hmm. relevant to today. Well, it was the Victorian era, and he was making fun of the overly... Uh, stringent rules of society. And one of the things I find, because we're also doing a scene from Salome, is familial relationships. And they are just absolutely crazy. Uh, the scene that we're doing from Salome is a scene not with Salome and John the Baptist, but with Herod and Herodias, his wife. And they're, they're better than the Bickersons. <laughs> I think that's the thing. At the time, he was able to uh, see the absurdity of all that strict formality, and that was refreshing to the Victorians. You know, they, they, they liked that contrast to the life they had to lead, the propriety and all of that. And yeah. so he kind of was able to, you know, make fun of it. And my understanding, he was, he was very flamboyant as well. Yeah, and, and he be, ended up becoming like a huge personality in his In his day. own right, yes, yeah. that's absolutely true. In fact, when he arrived in the U.S. Uh, at Customs, he said the famous line, I have nothing to declare but my genius. <laughs> so it's quite funny, that. really. Yes, yeah. And so for you, Gregory, what, what do you love about doing this role for the community uh, that's coming up next I, week? I like the opportunity to uh, play a character that... Um, has an English accent, if I'm perfectly honest. It's nice to be able to mm -hmm. get into that kind of characterization. And the fact that he is, in every way, very earnest about determining who he is. So the scene we're doing involves him discovering his real name and his real identity. So he's, he's really keen and really eager to find out. So he's asking the ladies in the room, you know, who am I? Who am I? So I'm really enjoying that kind of uh, intense earnestness that he plays. <laughs> mm, I love it. It sounds like a great show. It's going to be so good to see yeah. this. So I, I know um, you also wanted to mention that this show is being dedicated to John Perrick. Yes, John was one of the original old pros, and then we have a picture of him up there as his last show, it, which was Lion in Winter. 
and he did so much for the old pros. He brought in, I remember the first show he did here was in 2008, and it was Death of a Salesman. John had a long career in Hollywood, usually a running character in shows like Rock, Rockford with James Garner and a bunch of the Westerns as well. And he also, like me, worked in front of the camera and behind the camera. Oh, that's, uh, well, it's, uh, sorry to hear that he has passed, and, you know. Well, he will be missed. He'll definitely be missed. We wanted to give a good send-off to him, and I can't think of a more delightful way of doing it than with fun stuff from Oscar Wilde. Yeah. So, um, and then just only have like a minute left, but you also wanted to mention some other things about the Old Pros Club, about, uh, you know, your goals for the new year and oh, interactions yes. with other clubs and... Well, I'm very pleased to say that we're interfacing with other clubs. Uh, a lot of people have taken a hit because of the pandemic, and they're just getting back up. We've been working with the publishing club. They uh, gave us some of their stories that have been published, and we put them together and did presentations, put them on stage with the actors, bringing them to life. We've worked with concerned citizens now about five years we do Peace Day for them every year in September. And we'll do uh, uh, just explaining to everybody what Peace Day is all about. And I'm happy to say we also work with the Recreation Department. Two years running, we have been at the Renaissance Fair. And we are looking for our third annual Renaissance Fair coming up next May. Oh, how fun. I bet that is a blast, getting all Oh, it up. is. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming on and sharing this with us. This sounds like a great evening, so good luck with you Thanks. with everything. Um, come check out the Old Pros next show. It's coming up next week, A Very Wild Night with Oscar Wilde. It's on Wednesday, November 15th at Clubhouse 7. Doors open at 6.30, and the show starts at 7 p.m. Members are free, and guests are only $5. And you can become a member. It's only $20, so it's a great inflation fighter <laughs> to become a member with Old Pros and get some amazing entertainment. Um, so check out that event.